If you have any integrity or self-respect, don't ever make these arguments again. Don't say that Jesus claimed to be God in John 10.30, just because Jesus said, I and my Father are one. Right after Jesus said that there was only one true God and that God sent Jesus in John 17, Jesus prayed that all the believers would be one in the same way that God and Jesus were one. So Jesus was just saying he was doing Yahweh's will and that they agreed as one. Don't show your ignorance and say that only God can forgive sins either. Do you really want to side with the people that misunderstood their own scriptures and were destroyed for their disobedience? Jesus told his apostles, As the Father has sent me, so I send you. If you forgive anyone their sins, they are forgiven. So the apostles had authority to forgive sins, but they were not God. I can even tell you today that your sins are forgiven because God said your sins and lawless deeds will be remembered no more. And Jesus certainly did not claim to be the great I am in John 8:58. The Greek phrase ego ami is not a claim to deity. Or else the blind man in the next chapter was also God. And Paul said, I am what I am, just like God told Moses. And you might be a dummy if you think Jesus told Satan, don't tempt me because I am God. Satan asked Jesus, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down off this temple. For surely God would protect his son from harm. Satan knew Jesus wasn't God, but many of you have not figured that out yet. Then we have you disciples of Thomas who said, Thomas called Jesus God, so I will too. Never mind that just 11 verses earlier, Jesus called Thomas his brother and said that all the apostles had the same father and God that Jesus had. Then you say Jesus accepted worship and that makes him God. We are supposed to give honor and love to our brother. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? He who loves God must love his brother also. And John 5.23 is saying that Jesus was a true prophet sent by the one true God. And if you reject Jesus, you are rejecting the true prophet sent by God. But to call Jesus God is to break the first and greatest commandment.